Hello there, this is Malak, and welcome to episode 39 of my Wandering Village series. We are in a bit of a cold snap at the moment, nothing we haven't handled before, and we're just hoping, well I'm hoping, that uh, Anbu reaches the sleeping spot. I, I'm not so sure... I'm not so sure whether they will. Um, I think they may want to sleep in the, in the cold spell. So, I mean, I could get them to run, give them a bit of an energy boost, but... I, I don't think that would be the best idea. I'm just hoping that they... Because running will just make them tired quicker. But, I don't know. We will we will see. We will see what happens. I'm going to speed time up a little bit and hope... Come on, Ambu. Come on, buddy. We definitely don't want to go to sleep in the cold snap. We could literally just... Oh, no. No, buddy. Buddy, don't, don't stop here. No, no walk, please. I know, buddy, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. You gotta keep going, otherwise we're gonna, all of our crops are gonna die. I know, I know. So yeah, we get we we gave gave old Ambu a bit of a stimulant, and also, Ambu, you don't you you wanna you wanna sleep in the soft, the soft little watsits patch of watsits, or Cheetos, whatever you wanna call them. You wanna sleep there, buddy. It's a much nicer place to snooze. Although I'm not sure whether I'm actually gonna be able to get to sleep. Actually, then again, time is actually passing pretty quick. Hey buddy, look, look! It's a sleepy spot! And I'm pretty sure that uh, Ombu will be ready to snooze when they get there. Because look, the, the heart rate thingy. We could have got that achievement, actually. Your buddy. Just a, you know, just a, just a mild case of intense chemical stimulants. <laughs> it's fine. You're okay. A little bit, little bit faster. We, we like to watch, we like to watch um, Ambu doing the sleeps. Yeah, I know, I know, buddy. But look, you see? Obviously, you know, what's in your best interest is often the same as what's in our best interests. So yeah, this is a much better place to sleep. See? Look at those Watsits. Look. Taste of artificial cheese probably contains n nothing that's been anywhere near a cow. Come on, do the yawn, do the cute yawn, and the stretchy toe beans. Yay! I don't know whether Ombu has beans. I wonder what the underside. I mean, we kind of need to know what the underside of Ombu's adorable paws are like. I say, yes, I'm calling them paws, not feet. But definitely paws. They look paw-like to me. Maybe I'm just being weird. I mean, I'm always being weird, but... Oh, we've got another sleepy spot just up there as well. So, I suppose we need to make a decision sooner or later. We've got a thunderstorm or another sleepy spot. I mean, the sleepy spot's the obvious choice. It takes us into a more temperate kind of zone type thing. Um... I think we've probably got enough beats. <laughs> so going into a different um, different area is not going to be a problem. Yeah, we can go the North Road unless I see something horrible up there. Easy. What have we got as far as 
We've got four homeless people. Our technology is nearly advanced to the point where we can m make other things. A trader, another one. Yeah, I definitely want to, every single time we need to do tradey trade, tradey trades. Um, Biogas is, Biogas is pretty good. Um, we do not need beets. Fish? How many fish do we have? Do we, do we have much in the way of fish? No, we do not have fish. I think it's all been just destroyed. Wow. Yeah, literally, we just have no fish. I think it's because we've just grilled all the fish. Yeah, that that's that's a problem with the system. Yeah, that's a problem with the system. But yes, we will we will buy your fish since we've destroyed all of our fish. I will also have all of your sand and all of your iron ore and a load of your biogas and your knowledge. Give us your knowledge. <laughs> I'm sure that's probably how we get the knowledge. We slurp it out of their brains directly. Like some kind of, I don't know, thing from Starship Troopers. That's probably how it works. That's what I'm going to assume anyway. I think we're just going to give them beets. I know we'll say we've got plenty of beets. I think like mushrooms as well. We've got a lot of mushrooms. So let's, let's give them a bunch of mushrooms. We'll give them some beets. We don't want to go give them too many beets. Wood. You know what? Yeah. Let's let's go a bit crazy with wood since we have a farm now. You know, a little forest. Thanks, buddy. Um a little forest building up there. I'm actually gonna put an extra person in there and then actually go plant harvest. Job done. Okay. Oh, we could do the celebration. Not while Lombu's asleep, but wake it up. But I think we can do the celebration now. Um. No, it's salt. That's what we need. It's salt. But we've got the iron ore. We just need some salt. Mansion researched. Okay, let's have a little look what's next. I might just go artistry, make people happy with fancy buildings, and then we're done with that tab. I believe we're actually going to be done with it. It's kind of crazy. How much heal shroom do we actually have? Globally. No, globally. Yeah, just more, more heal shrooms, please. We've got the mycologist is just mushrooming. Herbalist is herbling. Okay. <laughs> Since we're not going to go that way, I mean, we can. Yes, there's a quarry there. Why not? I mean, we. Yeah, it would have been. Yeah, whatever. Oh, hey, buddy. See? Now, wasn't that a much better snooze? Yeah? And you're, you're such a gentle sleeper, you haven't crushed any of the Watsits. The weird, pale pink Watsits. Yeah, we need salt. There wasn't anything that was salty about this guy, was there? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, like, hmm. Had some regular water, but no salt water, and then no salt in general. We've got those tomatoes. We could always buy the tomatoes as well. It'll, it'll add a little bit of variety to people's diets. Let's trade some beets. Only a, a relatively small number of beets. There we go. Okay. Mansions. I think mansions are going to require a lot of glass. So, first things first, I suppose we probably need to just say, yeah, go north. Um, 
But then I'm going to plot, stroke plan, stroke whatever out. There's a mansion. They're inefficient, but they'll make people happy. And then I can put one there, one there, one there, one there. They'll be in radius of the survival monument. A lot of these are basically just the same radius, so, um... Let's put two street lanterns by either side of there. And then I guess we can put some bushes. Some flowers. Oh, we have uh, poisoned nomads. We welcome all. I mean, we literally do. You know, we've got plenty of stuff to cure people of poison, so um, I'm I'm more than happy to pick up some poisoned nomads. We have another sleep spot. Ambu may be sleepy enough to uh, to have another nap, but in the meantime, well, if not, then then not, I guess. But yes, the poisoned nomads. We can pick them up kill them, add them to our tribe. Didn't even look to see what dimension the mansions required. Glass, which we're we're burning through the glass. At least one of the mansions will be constructed. stone slabs have we got? 204. I'm actually gonna build stone road from here to here. This looks like it's um... Yeah. Looks like the fish are being farmed now. Yeah, that is a bit of a failing. They should always keep some fish to one side. I don't know how they would write that mechanism in, but there should definitely be the fish that are in the, the fish farm building. Its own inventory is always kept, kind of, for planting, and whenever fish are produced, it then fills that up first. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what I've just clicked in there, but... <laughs> Um, I think it was one of the early mechanisms which we just haven't done yet. Petrified footprints of an Anbu, several meters deep mark the surrounding. Definitely follow, I don't care what happens. After a while the tracks slowly fade away, leaving no choice but to head back. So, basically nothing. Yeah. Well that was... That was a shame. It happens. We need to, uh... Explore that shipwreck. Looks like it's getting a little bit more moist in <laughs> the terrain. So not that there, that there, yeah. Um, poison forest. Looks like we've got a spore cloud that may intersect our path. Ooh, we've got a big boy spore forest from the looks of it. Yeah, you know, there's no way of seeing that ahead of time. We'll be fine. We got stone slabs. Let's go to that dune. 
We'll we'll see if Ombu decides to um, have a snooze in a bit, I guess. We could just tell Ombu to sleep. I think Ombu tends to do as as it's told these days. Like, not completely, but for the most part, you know? Okay, so we have the high humidity, temperature normal. Okay. I'm just going to double check. So the beets are going to grow really well now. The mycologist, yeah, that's going to really grow nicely. Beets. I think we, generally speaking, leave everything more or less as it was. Let me, it's, it's paused, so we can get tomatoes. I think we should get more tomatoes. Yeah. I would almost say, well not almost say, I'm literally going to say, um, let's go completely crazy. Where's the kitchen that turns tomatoes into something? So we've got muesli, beet soup, poletta. We might not actually have a dedicated tomato kitchen. Well, this one can be our tomato kitchen. Okay, buddy. Let's see what you want. You see, I don't know whether 29% is enough for Ombu to... Or 30% is enough for Ombu to... Uh, to just choose to sleep itself, but we're going to definitely tell Ombu to sleep if uh, if it doesn't choose to itself. 30%. Oh yeah, Umbu looks like they want to just like, hmm. Yeah, what a tiring walk I've just had from that very nearby <laughs> sleeping spot to this sleeping spot. Oh no, my poor legs. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, you have a, you have a well-earned snooze. I want to see the yawn. Come on, buddy, you know you want to. Yeah. I live for the Ombu yawns. I absolutely live for them. It's... It's joy to my ears. I am not even joking. It's just so adorable. I like how they've, uh... They've separated the glass out. Let's cancel that. Recover the glass. And hope that they then... If I put the maximum priority on that mansion, they put the glass in there. Yeah? That would be, that would be the sensible thing for you guys to do. Put all the glass in one place. So you've put one glass in there. We got one glass left. You idiot. Please tell me that there's more glass somewhere in here. <laughs> there fucking isn't. Oh. Fine, I'm gonna destroy that one and force you again to put the glass into the high priority one. Can't believe it. Idiots, all of them. We'll get that mansion built. Just you watch. I don't know why I didn't just do that. The forests can have more than just wood, Malik. You know? But I'm sort of prioritizing, prioritizing non-forests because my brain is like, Oh look, we've got a big forest here. Look at this. All this wood that we've got. And it's like, yes, yes, we have plenty of wood, but... You know... 
Forests have more than just one. It's quite a kind of cute though. Look at that. Can't wait to actually see that, like, properly going crazy. Kind of just wanted to only plant again. Like, we don't need more wood at this exact moment. And I've sort of toggled backwards and forwards with that. Right, how how are the how is it going? Good. So you you you're doing well. Well well done, guys. Well done. Let's put a mansion there and then and then just leave it until it gets built and then put another one in there. Um, the glass blower is waiting waiting for enough sand. Mansion constructed. That's what we like to see. Yeah, th these aren't, aren't uh, the fanciest little condos, are they? What I need to do is build some other little fancy things around. So obviously we've got little things... Oh, we can't because of the spike. That's fine, that's fine. We can definitely build a stone arch. Oh, that's vertical. I thought they were, like, horizontal. I could have sworn they were horizontal things. could put some more positive things in there, but... I'm just going to check what Ombu's up to. Nothing in particular. Stone. No, I suppose we need to... Yes, forest. And obviously the poison forest will, will do its thing as well. The problem with those two is they use up sand and I don't particularly want to use up sand. You know, they, they have the sort of radius of what, four? Now only has a radius of three, so they're slightly more efficient with the amount of area they cover at plus. See, these two will seemingly like cover similar area, but but not quite. Poison forest. We're nearly collecting those nomads. Good job I started getting all that housing together. Um, I guess that, that fort ruins. Let's go back to this. You know, before I forget again. I think I'm just going to put some, some, some trees. Tree! Big bush. Okay, on the way through the poison forest, the scavengers come across a small clearing with clean air. Continue as planned. Let's let's get some good stuff. They do not stray from their task, and due to the favorable conditions, they even manage to bring back more than they had hoped for: herbs and wood. I mean, yeah, that's yeah. Not wrong with that. Oh, a little sandstorm there, but we got a dune. Let's get the sand. Tasty sand. Um, poison nomads, pick them up. Two poison nomads. We now have quite a lot of people. It's great. Let's put some little flower beds there. It's not going to be the best neighborhood as far as residents goes, you know what I mean? It's like but then none of them are perfect. Like if we look at that, look at the benefit that that provides. It's like most of the benefit. It's huge. Some of them doesn't don't even need it, but a lot of them definitely do. These need some more love, as it were. I could always make the road not go all the way down and like have a, a, a gap in the middle and put some cool things in there. So you you gain access to the area slightly differently. 
New research complete. So, we've completely unlocked all village research. We've completely unlocked, I believe, all services research. I think we've unlocked all farming research. Resources research is one step away from being maximum. I, I'm going to build that, but I'm, well, as in, I'm going to research it, but not build it. I might just click that now so that we've got it. But Onbu research definitely needs to be <clears throat> pushed. I think I kind of want to do that. But also the liquefier. Oh, it will show us where Onbu's stomach is. If we get the feeding pump, it will probably show us where Onbu's stomach is. Research. We've got to get the research done, guys. Um, so, oh, what are these things we can build? So a small park featuring a pavilion decorated with flowers. Decoration value six, it requires some sand. We've got the wonder, the wonder tree. So both of these are equally awesome. And they are both the same footprint as it were. Oh boy, actually I just suddenly realized the iron furnace overlaps Oh, so that's not not the best place to, to live because of the uh, the proximity of the iron furnace because of the uh, the sort of the pollution as it were. Hmm. Well, I should probably move the furnace further in, like pos position it there. I mean, yeah, that's what I should do. Should definitely do that. We should definitely do that, which basically means I might as well do it now. It doesn't even require a huge amount of resources. It's just it's just a thing, you know. And we might as well break that. And then maximum priority on the iron furnace. Currently don't build that in case it steals some resources. And there we go. But I definitely think we should build one of these. The pavilion seems like the most sensible thing to put where all the posh people live. And it would squeeze into that spot there, but it wouldn't cover all of the posh houses. There also wouldn't. There though also wouldn't. Hmm. Okay. Are there any like houses that aren't aren't really performing? Oh. We probably don't need this yet. I think when I create a new neighborhood, then then that's what I'm going to do. I will uh, I will do that. But um, all of that will have to happen next time. I think we're going to get hit by a lot of spores. So we're going to have like all hands on deck. All 22 general workers <laughs> will be harvesting the spores as fast as possible. Um... It'll all be good. It'll all be good. It'll all work out. And hopefully we can get some more medicine for our for our precious Ombu. But until then, you're going to have to wait another week, I'm afraid. So, as usual, cheerio.